Hi there, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can read JSON file into Spark data frame and fabric lake hours for downstream data analytics. So let's get started. This is potentially a fabric data engineering task as part of data engineering workload in fabric. So let's see how we can easily read the file into the Spark data frame and then into the lake house object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my file and I want to double click on this transaction JSON file. And of course, we can see we have what's called the key value pairs. So I'm going to close this and go to my fabric. And of course, I've got a lake house called json data already created so this is the lake house so of course there is nothing in the tables and of course in the files so i'm going to click on this ellipsis and then i want to choose upload and i want to upload file so i'm going to click on this to browse through the location of file and then i can see the location double click and then click on upload and then in a few seconds, I can see the data ingested into the file. So that's fine. Go ahead and close this window. And then I can come back here and click on this ellipsis and refresh. And there we go. I can double click. I can see the transaction.json file. Now, the problem is that just like the parquet file or the csv file i can go ahead and load to a table but that's not the case for the json file so there is no functionality to click on this ellipsis to load to a table so what we're going to do is to take the data into the fabric notebook read into the spark data frame and then we're going to write back as a delta table into the lake house so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and click on this option and choose a new notebook double click click on that and then when the notebook comes up i can go on and access the file in the lake house so i can see i've got the lake houses double click and then i can see the file so again i can double click and then i can see the transaction.json now the first thing i need basically is to copy the azure blob file system path so i can click on this ellipsis and then copy the abfs path copy that and then i can minimize this window for now and in the code cell i'm going to get rid of this code and basically i'm just going to do a df variable name so df equals to spark dot read dot option and then i'm going to open and close the brackets so basically we have two arguments the key and of course the value now for the key i'm going to use multi-line now this is basically because the json file contains record that span across multiple lines so inside double quote i'm going to call this multi multi-line and then comma so for the value inside double quotes i'm going to use true because by default it is set to false and then after the Closing bracket. I'm going to do dot and then call the JSON P, the method and then open and close brackets. Now for the path, I can go ahead inside double quote and control V the Azure Blob file system path I copied, and then I can go on and use the display function of the Spark and then access or display other content. So I'm just going to call the DF and then go ahead and control enter and then in few seconds i'm going to see the data successfully read into the spark data frame so there we go so the data is now in the spark data frame so i can see all the columns the account manager address customer name customer type discount rate and so on and so forth so i'm going to scroll down now the next to do is to add a new code cell and then we want to write the data as a delta table into the json lake house and we can go ahead and use the sql endpoints to perform the downstream data analytics so i'm going to call the df dot and use the write method dot and then for the format i'm going to specify inside double quote and inside the open and close brackets i'm going to call this delta table this is going to be from delta table and then dot mode and then open and close the brackets inside the double quote i'm going to specify override so this is going to overwrite any of the existing data if there is in that location and then dot and then use the save as table inside the double quote and of course the closing bracket i'm going to specify transaction as the name of the table now the reason why we're actually using this 
format is because this allows us to set the storage layer that provide the atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durable transaction, scalable metadata, handling, and batch data processing for big data workloads. So this is done, I can go ahead and control enter to run the code in the cell, and then we wait for some couple of seconds. Okay, there we go. Command executed in 18 seconds, 808 milliseconds. And of course, if you come here and click on this ellipsis and click on refresh, and then we wait and see the transaction table. There we go. So this is a delta table. So I can go back to the lake house and then I can double click on the table to see the preview of the data. And once I'm fine, I can go ahead and switch from the lake house to the SQL analytics endpoints to perform the downstream data analytics. So I can see again the transaction table under the schema. And of course, I'm going to click on the new SQL query. And then I can just do a simple select star from, I can even select the name of the table and drag onto the SQL query window and then select the query and go on a click run. And there we go. So I can see all the records in the transaction table. And this is cool. I can even go ahead and explore the data and I can even go ahead and visualize the report by selecting the query and there we go so this is basically how we can successfully read json file into spark data frame and fabric leak house for downstream data analytics i trust you enjoyed this video if you do like share with your friends and comment thank you and bye for now cheers